Today, I'll show you a brand new Keywords Everywhere feature that pulls the Google Maps listing metrics data that you could use for local SEO. So everything from the public fields like the categories that are being used and also the behind the scenes IDs. Now, having this information is great because you could easily audit your own Google Maps listings and also do a competitive analysis for nearby rivals. You could also use the IDs for API driven tasks such as bulk updates, review scraping, or automated reporting. Now let me show you how it works. First, make sure you have the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on installed and turned on. Then do a local keyword search. I searched for Dentist Los Angeles. And here you can see the local map pack. Keywords Everywhere added a new row for each one of these results that will instantly show you the exact categories that each of these are using. So this first result is only using one category, which is dentist. This second one is also using the dentist category plus seven others. Now, if you hover over this icon, you could view the specific categories that are being used. And the same goes for this third one and fourth one. Now, this is great information to have because if you want the potential to rank for Dentist Los Angeles, you'll definitely be wanting to use similar categories as these top ranking places. Now, if you click on this copy icon, you can paste it elsewhere to take a look at more closely. Aside from just viewing the category, you could also copy all and export all of the Google Maps listing metrics data for each of these results. So if I click on copy all and paste it here, I could view the 10 specific listing metrics data for this location. So we could view the exact title that's being used, the address, categories, the specific coordinates, the rating, number of reviews, the knowledge graph ID, which is an internal Google knowledge graph identifier for the entity, the place ID, which is Google Maps stable place identifier used in Maps APIs to reference this specific place, the CID, which is used by Google Maps to reference this business in certain internal URLs and analytics. And lastly, we have the business profile ID. This is the unique identifier for this business profile. And if you want to export it as a CSV, you can do so and it will look like this. Now in this view, you could only see the categories, but if you want to view the other information, you can click on open in maps. And since there is more space, you could view all of the categories that are being used, including the coordinates, the average rating, the number of reviews, the knowledge graph ID, the place ID, business profile ID as well. So if you don't want to copy or export this information to view all of this data, you could more easily view it in uh, this view as well. So again, having all of this information is a must when you are wanting to do local SEO. You could use the exact address, uh, the coordinates and categories in your schema local business markup on your website for improved matching between your website and your Google listing, which could increase the chance of rich results and accurate knowledge panel display. And when it comes to NAP optimization, you can check to make sure your title, address, and your phone number is consistent across directories and citations. Having this consistency can reduce confusion for Google and users, which could improve your local ranking and trust. So go ahead and try this new feature out. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and feel free to check out any other videos on the screen right now. Thank you and we will see you in the next one.